Hi everyone, it's me Aurora again and I am wearing again the same shirt as in the last video because I'm filming it in the same time, let's be honest, and also, you know, thematically it just makes sense. This video is the exact polar opposite of the last one. The last one was the most sustainable gifts that you can buy, the gift ideas and things like that. And now I just want to talk about the things that you should probably never buy or gift to your loved ones especially if you actually cared for them. So if you're interested uh, to learn more about it, stay tuned. Also, while you're here, please hit that subscribe button so that we can, you know, hang out the next year as well. Anyway, some gifts are just not great. <laughs> so not in the sense like they're not... Okay, someone, uh, sometimes in a sense that they're just not valuable enough and they're trashy and things like that, but sometimes you're just not mindful enough and sometimes it just shows that you don't really care, you just bought a gift to fulfill the social construct that we have with exchanging gifts. So keep that in mind. Don't make someone feel unloved in this time, don't make someone feel unheard and uh, don't make someone feel small in this holiday season, that's the biggest part. But when it comes to the gift themselves, it all depends on the person. Maybe giving someone socks for their Christmas is a horrible thing. They might, uh, you know, see the socks and go, what the hell, why did you give me socks? I, I mean, why? But then there are other people who will see the socks and go, oh, socks, great, thank you so much. So, you know, it's all about the person. But there are some things that just don't make sense. First thing. Cheap electronics. Don't give someone something that they will have to throw away in, you know, a month. It's okay if you don't have money and you want to give someone something that they need or want, find something else. <laughs> don't give them something uh, just to say that you did it, to feel like you did it, but then the person has to, you know, throw it away and now they, again, don't have something that they need, but they didn't buy it themselves more quality version because they thought that they had something so you know it's a false sense of security and some people might not be okay with that and it just complicate things it's easier to not buy something like that at all or you know give them a certain amount of money that you can spare and say here is for your you know piggy bank uh, for this specific the item that you're looking for. It makes no sense to buy something off, you know, Amazon uh, throwaway list or during Black Friday uh, getting something that's half broken already to give someone. It just mean. I mean, don't give someone something that they will throw away. The same thing goes with cheap plastics, and I don't mean cheap in a sense like cheap, cheap. Uh, I paid five dollars for it or one dollar or something like that. Cheap things can be quality too, so if you bought it in a second-hand store or the farmer's market or somewhere like that, it's okay. It might be quality still. So it's not the issue of money, it's the issue of quality. So cheap plastics equal unquality plastics uh, that you will have to throw away after one or two use is horrible because it broke down super quickly in your household and you can't use it anymore as it's intended. Uh, so you put it in the landfill but it will stay for another 200 years intact. <laughs> so it makes no sense. Don't give some, uh, someone something like that. If you want to give someone, you know, I don't know, cooking tools or something like that, maybe splurge a little bit more or give them less items but more quality made or go to the farmer's market or somewhere like that and get used but higher quality products. If you're giving someone a water bottle, don't give them the cheaper one, the less quality one that will break down in two months and get mold in all the weird places. Get them the one that is made from the materials that are easy to use and easy to clean and that they will, you know, have the use of for who knows how long. Next thing, don't, please, for the love of God, don't give uh, animals. To people, anyone during the Christmas time. Having an animal is a huge responsibility, especially a rescue animal, 
uh, an animal that has some health issues that you might not even know when you get them. It makes no sense to give responsibility, just drop responsibility into someone's lap. If you want to save an animal, save it yourself and then call your friends and let them pet it or take it to a walk or whatever, but don't give someone else an animal. Uh, if it's giving an animal in the same household so that you can also take care of it, okay. I think that's more reasonable and more responsible a thing to do. But, you know, giving someone random a puppy or a fish even, it's not okay. If they don't know how to take care of it, if they don't have time to take care of it, if, if they just don't want to take care of it, is their right? And perhaps if they wanted and could have an animal, they would do it already, so don't do it for them. If you know someone who has an animal and you want to do something special for them, you know, buy treats or make treats yourself or buy them a toy or something like that, but don't get the actual animal because that's irresponsible. Most of the animals that, uh, that are gifted in December end up uh, in the shelter already in spring. If they somehow survive in the household until the summer, they will be left behind when the people go on vacation. So don't do that. Don't gift animals to people. Give them things for their animals. Or if you know that they will be getting an animal soon, give them something for that future animal. Don't, don't do, you know, don't be the middleman <laughs> between the shelter and uh, the people because the most likely thing is that that animal will just end up being in the shelter when it's older, when it's, you know, more hard to find the loving forever home for them. So just don't, don't do it. It's, it's, the, it's that simple. Don't. Don't give people something that they might find offensive. I'm not saying specifically here offensive in a racial way or you know, gender way or something like that but offensive in a sense that you think that something is wrong with the person and they need to change it, but you also know that they can't change it themselves, so here you are a savior that is going to help them do it. Don't give people, you know, tummy detox juices, don't give people exercising equipment, don't give people uh, gym memberships or things like that if they didn't specifically ask for those things. If they needed and wanted those things and they told you or you hinted that they actually want them, then okay, you could give uh, you could give it to them and it won't seem offensive. But giving something like that out of the blue and telling, uh, telling someone, here's something that will help you be a better man because you're not good enough right now, it's not okay. The winter is hard as it is, you know, I already mentioned how depressive January is because all of the debt and things like that, and people are trying to change their, their lives, they're making new year resolutions and all of that, but they don't need a reminder that they're probably not great in something, or maybe they are actually finally in a place that they are happy with how they look, for example, or with their weight or with their body image as a whole, then you come uh, into their house and give them something to lose weight. It just makes no sense. Don't do it. it. It's disrespectful. If they wanted to change something and if they could change something at that moment, it would be on them to do it. Or to say to you, here, uh, listen, I want this, you know, gym equipment, but I have no money for it. Perhaps you could think of it as a gift for me. For example, a few years ago I got uh, the yoga mat from my parents for Christmas. I didn't get offended because of it, because I told them, you know, six months earlier that I'm looking for a yoga mat, I can't find it anywhere, and even when I do find it, I, it's too expensive for me, so they got it for me instead six months later. So that's okay, but it's not okay to just out of the blue go to someone and say, you have to work on yourself. It's not okay. And the last thing that I would mention is don't give something that is super unpersonal. You know, sometimes we just don't know what to give to someone and you're totally struggling with it and you might not have time or energy or money to go search for the pre uh, perfect present. The worst thing that you could do in that situation is spend your hard-earned money 
to buy something just because and something that will stay on someone's shelf or end up in someone's trash in a month so don't just it makes no sense uh, i don't know for example giving someone random perfumes or a body wash or something like that most of the time it's not personal those things are hit or miss and most of the times they are a miss especially if you're not super familiar with person and you don't know specific brand let's say of the product that they use if you know a brand and you see you know there are gift packages uh, that brands make in this holiday season and you see the brand that they use and it's a great bargain or something like that then okay go get it for them because you know that it's something that they already use that they will end up uh, needing probably soon because you know one body wash doesn't last uh, too long so you know if you give that specific body wash to them they will have the use for it in a month let's say and then they will think of you and think oh gosh uh, thank god that person gave uh, gave me that for christmas now, now i don't have to go stand uh, you know in the row in front of the store for two hours at mask to buy myself a new body wash or something like that you know it can be as simple as that sometimes the best gifts are the most simple ones that will actually be utilized but that is that uh, specific thing in it that you have to already know that that person uses it and needs it but if you buy someone you know that body wash set and it's from a brand that they don't like or they don't use maybe they hate the scent what are they going to do with that the only thing that they could do with it is to give it away to someone else and then it just keeps on rotating we all know some gifts <laughs> from you know in our family history or something like that some gifts that just keep on circulating because no one actually wants it and needs it so everyone just keep on repackaging it and sending it away why why would you do that if you don't know what to buy and you don't have anything to give that would be meaningful or useful or anything like that or just as a thought of uh, or just as an example of thinking about someone better to not buy anything give the money you know clean money or give them gift cards or something like that but don't don't uh, do something random and just say well here it is i did my part it's not okay it's uh, disrespectful to you actually because you earned your money and now you're spending it on some stupid little thing that no one will actually use you literally throw the money away and gave the gave something to someone that they won't use that now they have to get rid of in some way and it just makes no sense so don't do that another thing that i would mention is dead flowers so cut flowers and things like that uh, this is something that i already mentioned a year ago in my video about what i'm not going to buy coming forward in 2021 one of the things that i listed was dead flowers why because yes there is a possibility of keeping it forever as a potpourri or something like that but that takes extra effort and energy to do so to keep it safe in an environment that has is not too moist too hot or things like that and it's hard there are ways to keep your dead flowers forever but they will lose their shape and things i will literally insert here uh the dead flowers that i own uh, that i got for the last few years and i keep it all because it just doesn't make sense for me to throw it away it feels wrong even though it kind of feels wrong to keep it because i'm keeping it away from the ecosystem because it's not decomposing and you know fulfilling its destiny as a fertilizer but i don't know it just it doesn't sit right with me however giving someone plants for christmas it's okay idea it is in the category of animals so it is like uh, it is a living thing that needs care and time and energy and if a person doesn't have it or is horrible at keeping <laughs> plants alive or something like that don't buy them plants it, it, it better not just no <laughs> but if it's someone who you know is, is on a learning path with uh, plants or 
a plant lover or anything like that, then it's an okay choice. And the thing is that it's sustainable. It has its own, it has its roots that are working. It's in soil or in water or whatever it is that keeps it alive. And just do that instead of cut flowers. It, it's just more beautiful and you know that rose or something like that it will fade away a few days later okay you might keep it as a potpourri but still it won't be the same rose that you had it will be just the shadow of that rose but if you give someone you know a plant and it just keeps on growing and maybe it will have flowers and maybe it will have even you know well, fruits on it. That is a gift that keeps on giving. That is something that person will always, when it, when they are watering that plant down, or when they are dusting the leaves or something like that, they will think of you. And maybe sometimes they will think that them person will really give me responsibilities right now or something like that. But most of the times they will think, oh, this is such a lovely thought and this is something that makes me that puts a smile on my face every, you know, second uh, or third day when I'm watering it. And that's why I'm grateful. For example, last year, uh, when my partner asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I told him literally that I want plants. But I didn't want plants that were already, you know, fully grown and sprouted and things like that. Because I'm not super good <laughs> with those kinds of plants. Uh, sometimes the shock of just putting them in my home and, and then figuring out where to put them because of the lightning and, uh, you know, the heat and all that, they might just fall apart in two weeks and that will be the end of it and those plants are expensive. But I found this lovely little uh, team, uh, lovely little brand that makes... Uh, packets, you know, starter packs for plants. So, for example, uh, last year I asked my partner to give, if he had to give me anything, I asked him to give me that starter pack for growing plants because I love them and it's something that keeps me entertained for weeks and months. And actually, from the plants that he got me, we had uh, cherry tomatoes, so there is that. It was a fun thing and you know, something different uh, than just, you know, having a bouquet of roses that will just fade away. So I'll show you quickly. These are the starter kits. So the idea is that you get soil, as you can see, uh, and you get that little cup you put the soil in the cup and you put the seeds in the soil. After a few weeks, the seeds sprout and your plant is starting to grow. Days later. It is super easy to use and super fun. I just love watching it grow. You know, every day the little sprout gets a little bit bigger and it makes you happy. It keeps you on track when it comes to time because, you know, this last two years just merged together and literally growing plants helped me to keep track of it all because when you see the, the, the plant is uh, started from here and now it's like this you realize that oh my god like it's been a week <laughs> what happened <laughs> what's happening with my life so there is that okay and now let's recap what are the things that we're not going to buy or give to the people that we love this holiday season so cheap or let's better say not quality tech and plastics then the next thing is living beings like animals, but also plants. If someone wants to get plants or flowers or something like that, don't give them dead flowers, give them living flowers. 
that's a little bit of a paradox that I did here, but I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say with all of that. And the last thing is don't give unthoughtful gifts. Don't give them body wash that they are never going to use. Don't, don't give them uh, gift cards for the shop that they never go to. Don't give something just because you have to and you want to be able to say, I gave you something, now you have to give me something back. Or I don't know what Go, goes through people like mm -hmm. that minds. I love giving gifts uh, and it's one of my love languages, if you will. And I spend literally six months of every year hunting for that perfect gift. It just... Uh, every time that when I'm in store or something like that, I'm looking passively for the things that people that I love, love. So if I see, you know, something uh, and just my brother just pops into my mind and they go, oh, he would love this, or I see something and I like, oh, my mom would be, uh, would be happy about it, or, you know, I know what will put uh, the smile on my partner's face if I bought this home for him. Those are the gifts that should be given and uh, that's why I'm never, you know, sad for giving something. I never feel like I betrayed someone or that I gave them something bad or something like that. Because I know that I give my best trying to figure out what to actually give them. And I really hope that they feel the same, <laughs> that it's, you know, a two-way street. And I hope that they don't feel like I'm bringing trash into their homes or something like that. Anyway, I wish you a trash-free holiday, a sustainable new year, and have a successful Christmas shopping. I hope you didn't postpone it all until the end, because I'm, I'm publishing this over Christmas. I hope that it, it will help you in your last-minute shopping. Uh, but I hope that for the next year you will be a little bit more mindful about it and start planning a bit earlier, especially because, you know, this is a stressful time of the year and why make it even more stressful and hateful or whatever? You know, let's be as chill and as sustainable as we can be. Thank you all so much for watching, for liking and for commenting on this channel. So what is the worst present that you ever got or given? I am super curious, so let me know. And uh, yeah, if you are subscribed, I will see you next year. Bye! <laughs>